Okay, Ryan. Okay. 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 Right. She's gonna kick you in your fucking chest one day. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get that leg up. She can't reach my chest. Can't reach your short ass. Nah, I'm done. All right, we're back. She's like, you gotta go to sleep sometime. <laughs> <laughs> we're back, episode 34, with special guest. Bow! Special, special guest, Celeste. I said it right? Yeah, you said it right. Hey, hey. back to the back, said it right. The names. <laughs> back to the back. Because he be fucking up. I love that name. I love that. Oh, that's a bad, like, 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 like great ass name. Yeah, my mom came up with it. I was, I was supposed to be named Savannah. Savannah. No, I like Celeste. I love that name. My boy Steve made it. My boy Steve. Find the camera? Yeah. My guy. (laughs) Not Marv, it's Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey. And a little drop for Steve next time? A little drop? (laughs) No? Uh, So, how did you, uh, so tell us where you're from, you know, basics, you got, you know, shoe size, social security number, all that. What? (laughs) Social security is crazy. It's at an all-time high, you know um, what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, my name is Celez. I also go by Indigo. I also go Ooh. by C the Stallion. Um, Who, I'm what? C the Stallion. Oh, really? Like, she's kind of tall. I saw she was kind of tall. Like, now you kind of tall. I'm like, all right. Um, but I'm from Lodi, New Jersey. I'm originally uh, from Canada. But Ooh, Ooh, I didn't know that. Okay. From the six? Yeah. Six, hey. six, 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 six. From, six. Right. No. Well, uh, two, two, new, yeah. job, new job? New <laughs> job? Do it for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Ten to like ten years, right? Yeah, right. for real. Continue, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but I'm from Lodi, New Jersey. Um, I have been doing music my whole life. I'm a singer songwriter. Um, I sung my whole life, but I didn't take it seriously up until 2019 when I graduated high school. So okay. up until then, wasn't really doing much besides writing a few songs here and there, school talent shows, Mm -hmm. school choir, glee club, whatever. And then 2019 came, I got a job at the mall. One of my managers, um, he, shout out Poppy Johnson, if he's watching Poppy Johnson. If he's gonna watch this. Uh, Poppy. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But he was my manager at the time and he raps. He's also a rapper, he Mm -hmm. writes. And he was, he's even to this day, he's like my mentor. That's my big brother. So he's the first person to really get me in. So the that's studio. what changed for you. Like that yeah. was the. Okay. He heard me literally singing one time we were closing, um, yeah. closing at work. I was at Cotton on at GSP, at Garden State Plaza. And he Great heard story. Me singing. Sometimes that's yeah. how it works. Cause I have a Great coworker shirts. who's like that. I heard her sure. sing one day, and I'm like, like oh, yo, you, you could be like, you could be doing more than <laughs> this. Like okay, no, yeah, he he's who got me through the door, like to really, really. Like work in a recording studio, and I'm still with the same engineer to this day. Shout out Andrew. Okay. Shout out my boy Andrew. Andrew. But yeah, ever since then, it's just been taking off and just building my sound and changing up my style, growing into myself, how mm-hmm. I want to sound. So yeah. Okay. Glad, glad that I'm here now, though. That's we here. Shining. Origin story. Yeah. <laughs> not the villain. The villain kind. Not the yeah. Villain no, kind. no. 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 <laughs> oh, you ain't got a villain story. Damn. The villain story. Yeah, may- maybe. It's in my music. It's through <laughs> my music. Yeah. Through your music? Okay, it's through my music. Mm. So, there <laughs> you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh Marty. Hey, it's Marty. Um, what would you? Hey, it's Marty. Hey, that's me. <laughs> hey, that's um, me. <laughs> so you know, like, tip, like some artists have like a, a niche, you can say, mm-hmm. when they come out with, when they first come out with their music and stuff. Like, what do you f- feel like yours is? Is it like heartbreak music? Is like all around or just what you feel? I would say heartbreak music because the most universal feeling, in my opinion, is love. And love is powerful, myself. Yeah. Powerful. (laughs) Like, think about it. Like, majority of songs out here, there's so many things you can write about love, whether it's falling in love, being Mm -hmm. happy that you're in love, Mm -hmm. love, falling out of love. love, You know what I'm saying? Like, never experiencing love. Like, there's so much you can write around the idea of love in general. And unfortunately, to say, mine is, I'm really. Well, a who broke your heart? Heartbreak. I was about to. Who uh, broke your heart? Who, <laughs> heart. Right. who the nigga? Who the nigga who broke your heart so I can fuck him up? It's a few. It's a, it's few, a few. That really ain't shit. Oh, but name them. Name them. Shit. Name names. Yeah, say no? some names. You always want to name names. <laughs> Tell me, spice don't, don't, don't listen. Don't listen to him. It's funny because a lot of my a lot of my songs, like whether it's a few that I have on my first EP and the ones upcoming, a lot of the song titles are related to them, mm. in a way. Like the like the titles are significant. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> leans into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Segway. Se- Segway Ooh. King. Hold on, wait, hold on. I got you to drop it. Like, look. This is. <laughs> That's wrong one. Hey. Hey, it's Marty. So, uh, I really like your, um, mm-hmm. what is what is the EP? In, uh, Letters from Indigo. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, one like moment. It? Is that, Moments? Mm, yeah, is that Moments. A, we'll one moment. Moments. It's okay. I like that song a lot. Thank you. So, who was that about? <laughs> That's about my first love. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh. Hit the, on the neck. I be knowing, bro. Just fuck on the pod. Just fuck on the pod, man. I've been fucked up too. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely that's about my first love. I can honestly say that's the fastest song I've ever written. I wrote that mm-hmm. in an hour and a half. Oh wow! So should we play for the pod? Should we play for the little little something for the pod? Then? Yeah, play that. Shit. I got you right now, man. Don't tell yeah, me. Yeah, I was listening on the way here. You <laughs> <laughs> said what? We said what? I was listening to it on the way here. Like her EP. Oh, I don't know. All right, Brian, keep it back. Yeah, up. all right. I'm off the do man. Turn it down. Church, church. The intro gives me like a Frank Ocean type vibe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what dropped me to it. Shout out to you though, cause you got them and they filled. You the first car, one. Man. Nah, you the first one to do that because all of them was like, oh, so fuck these niggas, huh? Like with all the girls that came, all the female artists that we had on here, they're like, oh, fuck these niggas, fuck these we niggas. We got emotions they, too. They, it yeah. really is yeah. that. Look. You got them emotions. The wrong ones though, the ones that done you wrong. Uh, I'm yeah. not gonna sit no, here you and got say them that all men ain't shit. That's you got them in they fills over yeah, there. Kudos, good job. It's a drink. That's all. <laughs> this is a joke. Okay. Who broke y'all hearts? Ooh. <laughs> Reverse the tables. Reverse. Y'all already know this. Like, who said, like, look, yeah, you said, like, look. Yeah, you tell your stories all the time. Um, <laughs> I mean, I got more stories, but. Who broke my heart? Damn. It's been a couple, like, in high school. It's been a lot. Who broke my heart? It's been a lot. I was, like, fucking, like, what? I was, like, 24, 25, oh. nugget broke my heart. You said 12? Yeah, said 12. <laughs> I don't know what love was, 12. You never forget that, that young, that young heartbreak that <laughs> the first The first heartbreak you never that's forget. That's your Billy Orange story? One? Not the first one you never forget. No. I took him to this day. Fucking junior high think school. That's his Samantha, story. you will be. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. <laughs> Name dropping everything. Wow. It was high school. She like, what, 30? She might, yeah, 31, 31, 30. 31, 30. Right. Two kids. Damn. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I lucked up. <laughs> For like show. Kid. Probably would have five. <laughs> okay. it'd, be, it'd be a look back when you see pictures of them now, and it's like, damn, you peaked in high school. Ooh, a lot of people yeah, peaked in high school yeah. from my year. Is it 09? Like, now? Even That's a lot crazy. of people that were like bullies, it's just like, damn, you peaked in high school. How you feel? Right. Karma. Like that Karma. Shit. At the mask. Exactly. Everybody want to be your friend at the high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially exactly. on Facebook. I'm like, look, uh-huh. who you? On Bro. Facebook, shit was trying to add me. I'm like, I don't know you, nigga. I got no, people no. asking me, like, yo, you still making music? <laughs> like, nigga, you see me everywhere. Yes, bro. What the fuck? Hey, heard that they just trying to be back in your life. So they be like, oh, I knew him back when. Yeah. yeah. Or they, they trying to hit you up, trying to talk nice. It's like, didn't uh-huh. you slam my hand in my locker sixth grade? Like, yeah, yeah, damn. Oh, okay. Things like that. Did you get like, the ex that hit you up saying like, yo, I'm just hitting you back. I like, <laughs> I, I see your progression in your music. It's or funny. Like that. It's funny. You know, I, 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 back. I, I ain't that. trying to do nothing. Double back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. From last week, double back. Look at that. Shout out to Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Zoe. We got Mirza here too, I guess. What's yeah. up, guys? Back to back. She on her A&R shit. I see. Right, <laughs> Go Gomez in the Trying to be in the cut. This point, but be on the podcast. This point, but be part of the fucking shit. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
acting. Um, but no, definitely. Uh, not even trying to say this to sound on some cocky shit, but anybody that I've dealt with Mm -hmm. has always circled back. Mm. And that's that's just to say that's just a reflection of my character and how I treat people. Because especially Mm -hmm. whether it's friends, family, romantic partner, I know how I treat people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the same as anybody else, as they're not the same as anybody else. But me, I know how I treat people, especially when I love you. And that shit, you, you know, you can't find that in other people. Bags, straight up. Bags. Ever again, nigga. That's what yeah. you mean. <laughs> Lost it. Um, so what's your process when writing? Like, oof. This is a tough one. My process when writing, um, I remember peeping, Zoe and Mirza were talking about it before on the, the pod last time, how they'll just kind of listen to the beat. Yeah. Um, I know if this like applies to Mirza too, but like just kind of writing whatever, finding like the beat afterwards. But me, I got to find a beat that catches my interest first. Yeah. Like, I have to, like, it kind so of has put to you me in a spark. Yeah. I'll literally, I'll just be going through YouTube listening to 30 different beats and like, ah, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that, not for me. Find something and I'll just keep replaying it until I start writing. Okay. But I get sometimes in the habit where I start to feel burnt out and I'm just like, shit, okay, I have, like, a verse, half a verse, or the hook first. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't handle the rest of it right now. I'll come back to it later. Two weeks goes by, a month goes by, sometimes the whole season goes by. Yeah. Until, like, I come back to it. I'll probably work on other stuff, but until I come back to it. But I try not to really stress myself out too much when it comes to I have to have this set and done now. Otherwise, like, no, it's okay. Like Because it's, it's not going to come out the way exactly. you want it to. Exactly. And I don't, yeah. want, I don't want my shit to sound mediocre. Like, a lot of my older music I do love, yes, but that's I'm not in that same mindset anymore. So I just mm-hmm. feel like, you know what, like, take your time and just live. <laughs> like, don't. Don't rush your process. Yeah. So I okay. just really, I try to take my For time. Sure. If it doesn't flow at that time and place, I'm not going to force it. I'll just come back to it when I feel ready to, so. Okay, so okay. um, so my first song from the EP was uh, The Casamigos. Casamigos. That's <laughs> Yo, you even mentioned that's that name significant. Now, the golden question, right now, golden question. Was Casamigos <laughs> present during that, that that writing process? Or like, or anything like, like the yeah. bottle was present? The bottle or anything like that was present? Or no? Um, it wasn't, but ah, anytime, well, don't count. when I was around that, <laughs> when I was around that person, like we would really be bonding off Casamigos. So mm-hmm. that's really all I can say about that one. So it was around before the process. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, let's play it. Casamigos. Here you go. Pour up, Marcel. Pour up. <laughs> I need some more drink. You got another bottle. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You got this thing about you, never get too comfortable. Always know how to play it cool, you know what you do. Stay low and speak the truth. Never say what you're going through. Walking around like you got something to prove. I've seen how you move. So let's just be honest, babe. You hide the things you wanna say. Won't allow yourself to feel some way. You like to push it away. You take time doing what you like. Might dip your toe in something that just might feel right. Like to indulge in things that feel good for the night. Yeah, I know you're tired. Take the fun Won't place your trust into someone In love with the thought of who you gonna become But when it's all said and done Tell you myself, one on one, myself Tell you, tell you One on one, you know what I'm all right, so tell me the process of writing that song, then. Um, I actually wrote that one around Valentine's Day Aww. last year I was literally dolo but it was, oh, about, <laughs> it was about it was about like, it was about like it was about a little person. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a little person I was messing with, whatever, a little sneaky link. That Ooh. sneaky link. Damn. Good what time. happened? Just, Good times, Russell. We just think don't happened? mess with people. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unknown person. Bro. What are you supposed to know? He trying to get the tea, but he tried to become the man. We just. Was uh, Charlamagne? He's what? Opposite. The, the who? I'm no. You. I'm, I Let her finish her story. <laughs> I'm confused. Stay, <laughs> Stay over there. Because a lot of the time, like, when I've had situations where I, me and certain person haven't worked out, it's not always mm-hmm. that it ended on bad terms. Mm. 
But it's just we didn't mesh as people. And, and sometimes, just, you know, sometimes that, that, like, sometimes people who talk to each other, they're, like, they're like my, it might be, like, in the moment type shit, but they're not, like, really meant for each other, you know, mm-hmm. type shit. I think him and I were better off as friends. We don't yeah. speak anymore to this day. We try being friends and it work out. Yeah. But, um, because usually when you start dating somebody, you can't, like, just be friends with them because you think about, yeah. like, the old shit that happened. Yeah, but not that even shit. that. It's just, like, me, I'm a lover girl for real, so. Yeah, me too. Not that I'm, like, when I am involved with somebody, you're, like, automatically, okay, I want a relationship. No, but it's, like, I really liked him and I was trying to see where it was going. He wasn't ready for that. On top of a bunch of other bullshit happened in between, I'm just like it was just it didn't work out between us. Uh, it was I would say it was a mutual a mutual thing. Okay. Yeah. No bad blood though. Wish him the best. <laughs> not gonna be petty. Not gonna be petty on here. <laughs> like, let, me, let me let me be the bigger person. Yo, listen, this is the last result. So she was like, "Wish you the best though, but fuck you." No, yeah, no. That's, that's funny because that's what I was thinking. But I'm like, let me just keep it cute. Let best. me keep it cute. Lying, the be lying. Like, wish you the best. You're like, fuck you, you nigga. Right. <laughs> Basically. Um, what's something since you started your career? Because mm-hmm. I, I checked you out on your Instagram. Like, you don't also do music. You actually model. Yeah. Which is dope. Thank okay. you. Um, so getting into this, like, industry, you know, they go hand in hand, kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's something you learned to help better your artistry? Collaboration and networking is everything. That's what I like to hear. At least to me. Like, I can honestly say everyone that I've worked with, <laughs> like whether it's a studio session, writing, or like collabing with its when it's performances, whatever. I'm especially when it comes to collabing with the artist on a song, and we're in the studio together. I'm always able to take something away from that person. I'm able to observe and learn from them, get their feedback, get a different perspective from them. Whether it's how I operate as an artist, or just something that they do that they incorporate into their routine with their writing, or just how. I guess you could say they perform, and it's like I'm always able to take something away from them and apply that for myself. Because <laughs> think about it, who you're around, like who you socialize with, especially at such a young age, that helps mold you into the person that you are. Uh-huh. That's true. In a way. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's why a lot of niggas think I'm blood. What you mean, why? Because you hang with blood? Well, my family just blood. That's nigga. And I just be hanging around them, but it's just like, Gang member right here. Nah, cause my family, we all do music and shit. Oh, that's dope. You know dope. what I'm saying? And all of us that's is nice. Dope. You know what I'm saying? But these niggas is crazy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. So it's like you're. It's affi- a balance. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you're just affiliated because you're family. Like, ah, cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if y'all get caught in a Rico, I'm not. I'm not. It's like nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? But nah, that's cool. That's cool. That's really good. Since you're like coming up and you're like very young, that's very mm-hmm. very important, especially yeah. with the networking. Um, try to network as much as you can. That's one thing I'm trying to Trust work on. Me. It's hard because even like I, I go to school and I work. So mm-hmm. Mirza said this the other day too. We were texting and through voice message. She had literally said like even sometimes just reposting on social media gets exhausting. Like facts, I hate that. It's shit. draining. If it wasn't for it. music, I would not have besides TikTok. I wouldn't have none of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have any of it. If it wasn't for yeah. music, I would not be on social media like that at all or facts. modeling. I guess you could say too. Same here. I hate this shit. This yeah, shit. It's, it's draining. Annoying, it's yo. draining. It's it's fun sometimes for shits and giggles, but it's like the same. It's like those memes you see on Twitter. It's like oh, logged into Twitter, saw some out of pocket shit. I'm logging. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. Twitter, right. Yeah, the, the Twitter is a dangerous app past nine p.m. You never know what <laughs> you're gonna see. You never it's know. It's a dangerous app. That shit is. Proceed with caution at the nine exactly. p.m. Exactly. I don't even go on Twitter. Like I don't remember my password. None of that. Like really? the last time I used it, it was for high school and it was for a project. I for a project. No, yeah. What project? project. Was, to what? I don't remember. <laughs> what the fucking tweet saying? That's it. The no, <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but I don't even go on Twitter. Nah, Twitter is nuts. It is. Um. All right. So, congrats on dropping your latest song, "Better Days." Thank you. That was a banger. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Shout out, Dario. Banger. Thank um. So let's get into the song quick. Then we talk about it after. One on one, myself trying to tell you, nigga. All right. <laughs> Fuck us up. Do I have it? This no. one sounds so much more different to me than how all my other music. So it's just that's a taste of the upcoming EP. This give me some Walker vibes. <laughs> some Walker and Scissor vibes. Mm-hmm. Need a little lighter. Killer. Oh my god. Oh goodness. Can't keep inhaling you. Try to break 
this song come about um so dario is an artist that i've been trying to work with for a minute so mm-hmm. it was just dming back and forth though we got to work went through a couple beats sent it to him he's like okay this is tough i could work with it and then from mm-hmm. there just came up with something off the top of my head and it ended up working out in my favor so that's actually one of my favorite songs i can honestly say that that song is a great representation of how i want to sound mm-hmm. Um, and going forward, like that's just a taste of like what my upcoming EP is gonna be like, like the evolution. The yeah, because like you can even tell through the the songs that you played before, like mm-hmm. my voice definitely has changed. I feel like in the other songs, I don't right. I don't mm-hmm. necessarily not that I hate my old music, because mm-hmm. I mean like I said before, everyone's gotta start somewhere and yeah. you gotta absorb the growth. But exactly. I'm sounding a lot more confident when it comes to my voice my lyrics are a lot better and just timing and messing with different effects and just mm-hmm. figuring out what works good for my voice or with my voice i will say for this song i'm giving like i'm giving like <laughs> uh, like summer walker vibes as the vibes um, my favorites some of my favorites who else my sons? who's just hearing this song on this song i hear lucky day yeah i love that man from <laughs> infinity to uh... infinity I, I, get, I can hear n- yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Facts, I need to do a remix. Uh, Yo, collab? Oh, imagine. Neo, I can hear Damn. Neo on here. Mm-hmm. Neo. I can hear Keisha Cole. Yeah, me and Mirza got okay, something in the okay. works. Not even going to hold y'all. Ooh. Exclusive. It's, it's in the works. Send to me. Send to the pod. Exclusive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need that. Shit. Is <laughs> that shit? <laughs> I need yeah, you feeling hurt over here. I need to track with both of y'all. Y'all ain't got to track me. I was about to say that. Like, I could see y'all doing something. Let's get it in the works. Let's get it. You got to do one with um Zo too. Like, mm-hmm. for real. All four behind the track. All four. Well, you know, because we, me and Mirza have been talking about a track for a while, but like her, me, her, and Zo just, we still have yet to, we tried to like lock but, it in. Yeah, yeah but lock like. Lock it in. What y'all doing? Y'all bullshit. I know. I don't know my notebook, so as soon as we. Can, right. Yo. <laughs> a writing session after this is crazy. I'm so for it. I'm for <laughs> it. But it's good that y'all know each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That's how we yeah. met, literally. Y'all all are like 
talented as like fuck. dope yeah you know what I'm so somehow y'all met then how y'all met like all y'all like so friend group. i um zoe mirza and i so <laughs> zoe and mirza both went to garfield high school i went to woodridge i don't know if y'all know where woodridge is it's in central jersey woodridge woodridge Wood- oh, oh what right, right next Bridge. to <laughs> nah right next to hasbro kites and um east rutherford the town is okay. a little square mile predominantly white small. unfortunately it's small it's small town the whole town is a little square mile Damn. Wow. God bless. Right. Yeah. But um, I, knew, I, knew Zoe, I knew Zoe through mutuals um, in high school through social media. So that's how we became friends. And then Mirza and I met through Instagram. Okay. And mm-hmm. then through there, it was just, it was up and up from there. So. Up and up. Yeah. Up and up. Up and stuck. <laughs> up and stuck. <laughs> and now kids you stuck with nowadays, me. The kids say, up and stuck. Oh, God. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, growing up, were there like certain artists that influenced you, or like, <clears throat> like put you in that path on the style that you wanted to go? Hell to? yeah. Um, Sade, hey. Aaliyah, Ooh. Queen. No, yeah, for real. Um, Zoe said this one before, but definitely Lauren Hill. Just mm-hmm. old school music in general. Like my family always had a bunch of old school music yeah, playing the house. Like even Madonna is like some <laughs> like one of my favorite artists of all time. So a lot of Prince in the household. Michael Jackson, just yeah. like old school music in general, I would say is where how I sing is kind of rooted from. Even so you though got like I don't necessarily, soul. yeah, That's I what I've been soul, told, yeah, yeah, but I don't really necessarily sing like '90s type of vibes. Even yeah. though that's like I'm gonna get there eventually, but just. Like you said, but like, that's like oh, your so background. That's yeah, because that's what I've been. I've been told that too. My mom be like, "Oh, how you know this song?" I'm like, "You played this when I no, yeah, up. I got like, a whole playlist. Mean? I'd be in the car with my dad, yeah. and then he'll be like." Where'd you find that? That's like my favorite from, like, era, like the 90s to the th- 2000s. Yeah, the yeah. 90s, that's, a that's, that's what I'm saying. Music. That's the best yeah. music. Nowadays, niggas be talking about, like, pop this fucking... Not, yeah, for real. Like, you don't, you don't hear, like, old school R&B <laughs> like anymore. Like that, yeah, you don't. At all. At all, yeah, nah. That's, that's the era. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I wish I was alive during that time, too. No, no, I, I mean, I, mean, I was in the later part <laughs> yeah, of it, but I'm, I'm a 2001 baby, so I'm just yeah, like... Yeah, 2001, for what's fuck? Damn, my shit's talking about fucking 90. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I be am. saying, though. I'm just like, I'm an 01 baby, but like, I swear I'm not I'm from this generation. I'm born 1900s. Yeah, <laughs> I've been told that, too. Hey, yeah. I missed the whole era. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Couple you of them. They came out, shit was over already. <laughs> <laughs> It's all gone, I mean, I was ninety six, so like I grew up in it. Still, they don't count. Ninety six don't I, count, man. Yes, it does. I, I still grew man. up in it. No, you was like what, what, what four? You don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, but I still was listening to that music. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I did grow up in it. Hey, don't try to play me. <laughs> but still, the early two thousands was a great time. Yeah. Yeah, you had fucking Dipset. Who else you had? Y2K. Fucking yeah, Dipset. Max B oh, yeah, doing his thing. Max B. Who else they had out here? Fuck. Fucking Fifty Cent. Mm. Ja Rule. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. genuine. Araya, still Fat Joe, Skinny Joe. No, he's skinny. <laughs> skinny nah. Joe now. He's just Joe. Yeah, he's just Joe now. Yeah, he's just Joe. He's just Joe. Uh, shit, that was a great era though. Yeah, cause, like, long ass fucking two X the uh, t-shirts, man. That shit. Like, what? Fucking three X jeans, two X t-shirts. Oh, what the, what the, who who started that whole fucking nasty ass fucking brand fucking oversized t-shirts shit? Wait, I that hated was, that, that though too. Like, thing. why? Hmm? That was just the thing. I, I hated that. that shit. Fucking the fucking the wave cap with the headband and shit. Yeah, I remember the brim. What the brim? What the brim? fucking what koofy brim? with the brim on. Yeah, I had like, every color. <laughs> I had every color. I ain't gonna hold you. I had every color. <laughs> you a nasty dude. <laughs> <laughs> Never catch me in that shit. I was like, so I think I was cool as shit. I was like, look, guys, I'm on the brim. <laughs> I was like, like, what? Shorties had the fucking uh, light up belt. The light up belt um, in, in the high those? school hallway. Yeah. yeah. In, in the high you school could, like, hallway. Nah, that was a that was a thing. That I used to want one. I never got one. That was a messy in high school. One. one thing I love that my nana used to have. She had like a bedazzled pink Motorola phone. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the fucking bleep phone. Bleep bleep phone? The bleep yeah. stuff. The ringtone and shit. Damn, y'all really did miss that era. She was like, y'all had that? It was like... <laughs> Girl, I felt always tough. Like, like, damn, like, where, like, I wish. A little Chinese yeah. uh, slippers. Oh, yeah. 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 Every girl had every color in high school. Like, them dirty-ass slippers. This shit just turned black now. <laughs> Play some shit. First of all, it was cheap as hell. Like, you always have like, to go dollar, buy them real dollar, quick. Right? Yeah. yeah, dollar slippers. I already course. wore them to, like, if I got went to go get my nails done or something like that. I like, had I, a pair of them. Yeah, or, like, around the house. Like, I didn't wear them outside like that, for real. Get the little beads on them. Love those. All right, segue. No? <laughs> it's like, it's like, I got a question. If you could change one thing about the music industry or the industries that you're in, Oof. what would it be? Oof. Damn. 
Tough question. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be as specific as possible. I could change anything. Mm-hmm. This is not gonna really sound realistic. Yeah, dude. Okay. But just say it. <laughs> when, it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to as a woman working with male artists, mm-hmm. a lot of their intentions be sexual. And it's really mm. hard sometimes to differentiate like who's genuinely trying to work with you mm-hmm. and who who's wants just on some other me. shit. Yeah. Sometimes you could tell you can weed out mm-hmm. them from the other ones, but it's like sometimes they'll hit you up off the bat. Oh, you look mad good, whatever. And yeah. It's like now I'm uncomfortable. Now I don't want to work with you because yeah. you gonna hit, say that. And then oh yeah, we need to collab. Like come pull, pull, pull up on a studio. But yes, so yeah, question, that's something different. So yeah. question: Has anybody done that to you? Yeah. Damn. Oof. Yeah, I'll literally unfollow people like in a heartbeat. In a, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Because I'm really in it for the music. Like That's crazy. It's different to give somebody a compliment, but talking about all this crazy sexual shit you want to do, and it's just like, bro, like, why do you think I'm going to want to be in the same room as you? Yeah. Right. Facts. Like that's, that's not that's not how you approach people. How you get, like Shensia said in an interview, how you get my attention is talking business. Damn. That's Business moves, Marcellus. Yeah. Talk business drop first. The, oh, drop the clues ball. <laughs> 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 you, didn't, you didn't do this on the fact. That was a perfect... What? What? Opportunity to hit the. What do for ladies? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that one too. She on your ass, ladies. boy. But if there was one thing I could change, it would be. It would definitely be that. Cause I feel like a lot of opportunities get messed up because people are just not thinking straight. Sometimes it's different to give somebody a compliment, cool. But when you're coming crazy. Like no, and that's, that's not gonna want, make yeah. that's, that goes. Mm-hmm. I feel like that goes for any woman in the in the industry. Like that's not gonna necessarily make me want to work with you now because now I'm uncomfortable because I know your intentions aren't towards Off the, the music. Back, yeah. yeah, cool. That's crazy. So I'm gonna double up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, double up. So have you witnessed any like double standards so far, like in the industry? Uh, example: mm-hmm. um, a lot of women don't get credit <laughs> for being producers. They that's don't. True. Um, at all I guess, yeah. and it can be it don't even have to be like well it could be just like making the beat type shit mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying or overseeing what's happening in the room like a lot of women Damn, really don't get their credit <laughs> that's true um, a double standard I would say <clears throat> definitely I agree with that statement because mm-hmm. I see especially on social media there's a lot of female producers that are just out here doing their thing and they're not as big as you would see a bunch of male producers right but one thing I could definitely say, the double standard of, for example, you see artists like Meg, Lotto, even Lil' Kim, Queen B, like... Queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. really, obviously, a lot of their music is vulgar and it's sexual and it's nitty-gritty. Talking that stuff. But it's like, it, now, all of a sudden, Ice Spice is out here. Not that I really... She don't count, man. Yeah. 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 Afro, just, Afro, Afro. She don't know where But it's just women... Women in the industry really, like, when it comes to rapping about sexual things and whatever, they mm-hmm. automatically get called a hoe, this, that, and the third. But when mm-hmm. it comes to men, it's just, they oh, they're praised they for it. And I yeah. feel like that goes even outside of music. Like, a man Does a man will be praised for sleeping with mm-hmm. as many ever women as they want, but the minute you <sighs> yep. you find out a girl's body count is over 10, it's all of a sudden, oh, she a mm-hmm. thought. Like, yep. mm-hmm. You get what I'm the saying? Double standard, and they'll, yeah. pull out, they'll pull out the, the key and the lock idea yeah, like oh yeah. not, if there's a whole shit no, ton of keys no, that can open no. one lock like what no. is it worth what's not any good like that's yeah. it goes back to that same analogy like just, no because when we're talking about double standards way back when yeah, like, no. the, what, like, just like, like the first episode like no like first five episodes mind you don't listen to episodes this is just trash <laughs> if you listen out there do not listen no, to the right because double five. standards are crazy yeah, women have them. every right to be as sexually liberated as men Facts. Point blank period, without being judged for it. Facts. Go off, sis. If you got the wop, let them off. Wop, <laughs> hey yo. Uh, you wilding up, Marty? What you mean? They made a song. It's Marty. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm saying. But nah, nah, nah. That's, that's real nah, shit. Nah, yeah, I feel you. Nah, nah, I'm not nah, like nah, an nah. artist in the industry like that, but like I feel like the double standards like that's. It is good. And then it's well, like when it comes to social media. And you find that out about a female artist, it's like that shit gets she gets dragged through the mm-hmm. fucking mud, and her name is ruined, like, her reputation. And that's ruined. why I hate social media because it gives bitch ass niggas and hoes <laughs> fucking uh, oh, platform a platform to speak shit. But in real life, they wouldn't be. You yeah. niggas will get clocked like most of them niggas be on there just be trolling. They will not say that shit right. to your face. At they do all. it for the views. They mm-hmm. do it for like fucking likes and like trying to get like trying to go viral. And and still get no follows. That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking bozos. <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> Yo. 
But nah, that's dope. Oh, you vibing, man. I'm off the do say I'm lit. I nah, go old yeah, you. Yeah, this you shit kind of hitting. I got this hot ass hoodie. Straight do say is crazy to me. I'm not used to this. You got straight? What? Oh, you walk? Oh, yeah. Uh, if you around us, you got to. Tighten up. I got to tighten up. Tighten up. Damn. Did we cover this? I think with the most difficult, the most difficult part about being like an artist, we covered that already? I don't know. Uh, uh, the difficult part? No, I said. Uh, uh, I no, I don't think so. Think so. Nah. Okay, so most difficult, most difficult part about being a uh, artist for you? Mm. I would say I'm gonna tie two together. So what I just spoke about about at least for me being a female artist and being able to collaborate with other people without them having sexual intentions, yeah, or just pure intentions in general. <laughs> and also, I would say just not giving up is definitely another difficult part because I feel like. Me especially, I'm always questioning my process, uh, how I'm writing, if I'm still relevant, like, oh, shit, I haven't pushed it out. Um, up until Better Days, like, I haven't released a single in o- over a year. Better Days one of the ones, man. <laughs> That's what I mean, Facts. but it's... That song, that song should be on the radio. Yeah. Like, thank no, you. Like, no should, thank you. I recorded, we recorded that in May. In May? So I've been holding on Damn. to that one for a while. No, for too, yeah. about that? So, so about right May. Time, so, shit. in May, I saw an interview with you and Mirza on uh, YouTube, cooking with my, uh, like, my, like, my like feet, whatever, mm-hmm. and that's when I first like saw you, and then yep. I, I like I hit you up on DM trying to get an interview, and then like, during that time, um, I was doing a, a like transition for the podcast, like trying to like change people, like the crew, trying to change, like trying to get a studio, mm-hmm. and then I forgot about the fucking the interview, and then oh, I, like, yeah, podcast. because no, you did send Remember? it to us, yeah, and yeah, I was like, was, he was, looks this familiar, was, like a long time ago, and now I saw it, and I was like, fuck, this is, like in May, I'm so fucking slack. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, can we do this interview? No, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, so I was like, now I'm fucking slacking. No, so. it's okay. To piggyback we now. off yeah, of what no, you were saying no. before, like you said, that, like one of the difficult parts is not giving up. Mm-hmm. In your mind, sometimes you feel like you should be further than where you are Hell now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And it, a lot of it, something that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough, outside of being an artist, obviously we all like all have lives, we all have yeah. shit that we go through. So one thing that we don't talk about enough is mental health, and even myself yeah. included. Yeah. Like, like I said, I'm in school and I work, so just dealing with those things on top of music is a huge stressor. It's a huge mm-hmm. stressor, and sometimes it's hard because it makes you fall out of love with it. Like, damn, I'm not doing enough. My shit, I haven't had shit yeah. out in however long. Like, they don't even fuck with it. Or sometimes even, like I said, I go through writer's block. There's periods where I'm not writing at all for months. And I'm yeah. just on a hiatus, and I'm just like, you know what? Like, maybe I'm not meant for it, whatever. And then some shit hits you again. So it's just trying to recognize those feelings. And, Find that yeah. balance. Recognize those feelings. Let yourself feel them. And just not self-indulge too much. Like, don't okay, get too yeah. down on yourself. You just got to feel those things. Let it, emotions just come and go. They're like waves. Just right. in and out. You're not, you're not, you have to realize too, you're not your thoughts. You are not mm-hmm. your thoughts. Thoughts are just thoughts. That doesn't make them, always make them valid. But, thoughts um, are just thoughts, Marcellus. Stop being your head. <laughs> Shit. But, <laughs> I let you in my head, you fucking commit to no, Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> some crazy shit. <laughs> nah, I feel like it's like that for everyone. Like, that yeah. statement you just said is true. Like, if I let you inside my head, you, yeah, you couldn't handle it. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I do? Because I go through the same shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Whenever you get writer's block, I was told to just go and live life. That's what I was saying before. Yeah. You know I've saying? learned, like, don't force it because you're just going to rack your brain trying to make a song and you're going to be frustrated with the outcome even after stressing yourself out that much. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, go live your life when it comes back and it flows. Right. You come back it. when new experiences. Exactly. Because I don't want to keep there. writing about the same shit over and over. I'm going to get tired of it. Those who listen to my music are going to get tired of it. My friends will be tired of hearing about it. <laughs> like, it's just, you just got to let it flow. Facts. Make the music you want to make. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's, that's where we're at now. So I'm thankful. That's what's up. Um, who would be your dream artist that in this time? Question. Oh, was it? Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Who would be your dream artist you would like to collaborate with? Baylani. Kaylani. Ooh. I was like, who Baylani? Hold on, please a second. That, that would be, be a Kaylani collab. Yeah. Kaylani, Summer Walker. Kaylani's really at my top, though. Yeah. I, I love see that, that woman. I love that woman so much. So much. <laughs> Damn, now I want to hear what that sounds yeah, that's why I'm like, picturing it in my head. Even that goes too, like, be a dope ass collab. I've heard, I've had friends tell me, "Oh, someone sound like Kaylani." I could see it a little bit. I'm just like, "Yo," so I only imagine what my voice would sound like with hers. hers. Out of all people, she's phenomenal. Yeah, she's a phenomenal artist. She's a phenomenal writer. Like, and especially when it comes to the visuals of her projects that she puts out, she always makes the damn thing happen. It's amazing. I hear fucking like Summer Walker, SZA mm-hmm. collab. 
That mm-hmm. shit sound crazy. I would love to see like all the R and B girls, even Taylor, Boston like, Taylor, four, probably forerunners of this shit. Yeah. Like just have a huge, like all the women, all the women in in R and B just have a huge festival. Damn. That would be dope. Yeah. Yeah. But together, dope. we out. Trick Who Podcast Festival. They would make a lot. I would sell an arm and a leg to see that. Or a collaboration project or something. Mm-hmm. That, that would be dope. Damn. damn. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Damn. I hope somebody sees this and makes that happen. That'd Said it here great. first on Street Approved. Yeah. Street Approved Podcast. Yeah. Only here, motherfuckers. No, you channel. gotta do the. Um, what? With the app? Yeah. No, that's the intro. <laughs> but it works for what we just said, though. It's too late now, though. Okay. Okay. Time has Whatever. passed. Time has passed. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Any more yeah. questions or no? No. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, I caught something. For the upcoming motherfuckers, like, do you have a message for motherfuckers? Oh yeah, for people that's like trying to get into music. I say motherfuckers business. a lot, so. I'm <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> the niggas, motherfuckers. F word's one of my favorites. <laughs> um. So upcoming artists, I would honestly say, which camera? Look at this. Zoom in. Zoom in. All of them. Boom. I would say, don't let anybody talk you out of what you want to do at all, ever, ever. If you want to go for it, take that leap. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't, don't take. take. Mm. And you're, you don't want to regret it later on. So if you're passionate about something, and regardless of what people tell you, go for it. Because the worst you could find out is it doesn't work for you, and that's it. On to the next. But don't let anyone's opinions drive you away from what you want for yourself and how you feel in your heart. So... Go at it full force. Dropping knowledge. Over wow. To the left, to the left. <laughs> if you want to leave, be my guest. Can we play you can a game? step. <laughs> can we play yeah. a game? Hey, Lil Wayne said that. You know that, right? Lil yeah. Wayne? Yeah. Wait, no, you guys, we're <laughs> playing Song Association. Oh, we got to wrap it up then. Oh, we got 10 minutes. Got, 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 got do it quick. Real quick. We got this. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, okay. No. Here's already got 10 minutes. Okay. Think of a word then. Go ahead. Are you to do this again? I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> that's, of, I was like, that's why you go last. I was like, <laughs> think of a word. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm so good with these when I watch them, but then once I actually do, I'm like, oh shit, I can't think of anything. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know. That's it. Like, again, I don't know. Right, sorry. <laughs> go, okay. Honey. I like my girls just like I like my honey. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Sweet. A little selfish. That's Honey by Kaylani. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Um. Good night. Kiss Damn. Good morning. Yeah, I don't think that you said night. nighttime in that one. <laughs> nah, it's, it's night. It's night. It's fine. You got um, night. All right. Go ahead. Say yours. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um, the time. Right. Diamond. Diamond. I said diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. That's Rihanna. Uh, queen. Another queen. All right, now. Where should I go? I don't know. Fucking. Come all right, on. All right. Love. There you go. Boom. Love. So many things I've got to tell you. Mm. But I'm afraid I don't know how. I... So I love weird. that you went with that one because everyone always goes <clears throat> yeah. with the yep. Yeah. Yeah. Trap. Oh, we're not done? Oh. Trap. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I feel like there's a Migo song. Oh, my God. No, basically. Nah, it's your very own. Mama. Mine? <laughs> no, 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 your song. My song? He's from here. From here. He's from Jersey. Ooh, fuck him. What? Oh, I'm confused. Eh, I got the buzzer. It's Man, Trap Queen. Damn. Trap Queen. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, boo, you know, Damn, boo. That went over my head. That That's went it. Right nah, over she did my good head. though. Did yeah, good. thank you. Did good. Hey, did yeah. Really well. Really well. All right. You already know what we're about to do, man. You already know. If you tune in for the past like thirty episodes, you already know what the fuck about to go on. Hey. Um, I'm about to do a little freestyle. She want to rap. She said she want to rap. She want to sing. A little sing rap. Okay, a little sing rap. Do a rap. Wait for it. Wait for it. Like that. Um. All right. You ready? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, no sip. pressure. Little sip. Hell of sip pressure. pressure. First try. I want no four times. <clears throat> All right. All right. <laughs> like, nah. All right.
I get to talking when I'm frustrated. Put these feelings pen to paper when I'm contemplating. Yeah, trying to do right by you, but losing my mind, cutting ties for you. Speaking my thoughts, I can't hold that against you. I'm looking back at all the shit that we've been through. Know it's only up from here. I'm unpacking all of my fears for you. Would you be ashamed of my flaws? Can you be the first one I call? When I'm in need of some help, I can't do this all by myself. Would you take it in or run away? As much as I want you to stay. I'm trying to elevate and get in touch with you. As long as you hear when I call for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby, I'm falling for you. Falling for you. Back to back to back. Call me, I don't know. Call me Jordan. Call you. Uh, <laughs> oh God! You gotta play do it for the ladies though. Like oh, back to I'm back. Kobe. Like, Kobe. Mirza, Kobe. Zoe, Celeste. Like, there let me get my, let me get my shit off. Yeah, man. Man. <laughs> man. I'm over here representing for my ladies. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. Here she go, Kavika. Yeah, yeah, she trying to act up. All female segments. That would be hard. Sorry, what do you mean, like uh, all female segments? Just have all female on the pod and not me more Celeste? Just like fuck us, <laughs> fuck us. Like, what? Yeah. That's crazy. We should. Damn. You know? We could have did this one. Empowerment. No, we could have did this one. You said what? Um, she said retirement? No, woman <laughs> no, empowerment. No, empowerment. <laughs> well, we come from y'all shit. No, we could have did this one for um, the breast cancer, breast cancer uh, like awareness one, but mm. it's over now. Oh, yeah. My grandma's <laughs> doing a walk tomorrow because she's a two time yeah, survivor. Mm? Yeah. yeah. We got next next week got another guest right next week got another guest yeah we got alright wait wait don't no, sing uh, no. uh, we got drugs we got alcohol. <laughs> we got, we got another Shrubs. banger for you next next uh, week I said next month I say next month uh, next week got another banger <laughs> Jersey is gonna be in the building heavy Jersey the sake uptown is uptown no nigga he's from Midtown same shit Midtown but, uptown but that don't matter right now it's all about Celeste yeah. that's it right yeah, yeah you did yeah. Celeste. Celeste. Celeste do it for the lady well, uh, Celeste say do less. it for the lady hey. 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 okay better days have out now go stream that shit shut up <laughs> <laughs> tune in sorry, to better days it's drink. tune in to better days if you haven't heard it already I don't know why you waiting but tune in why you waiting for a bitch ass nigga yeah she's just swinging Ooh, Get to she swinging. talking about all y'all cranking it up go stream winding it up <laughs> Mm. Hey, you have it again. I don't know why you haven't listened yet. <laughs> 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 that shit looks strong as hell. Right? <laughs> like, like, come on, nigga. God, hey, hey, you have it again. We're at, for another big episode with Celeste. Thanks for coming through. Thank you. Thank you guys thank, for thank having you. me. Marcella, take us out. Marcella, take us out. You know what I'm saying? This is Street Approved Podcast. Go wash your ass. Watch under your titties because I know them shits is sweaty. Go wash it. I say wash your ass? Yeah. yeah. yeah all right. Go wash under your nuts. Uh, <laughs> brush your teeth. And uh, we getting the fuck up out of here. And this douce is hidden. It's dirty. You dig? <laughs>